Nope, have to un unmute my mic. I believe now everything should be good. Hopefully, right out the gate for once. Normally I don't do cams for Saturday morning streams, but uh, since I'm doing this one with the intention of chopping it up later, and I put on a cam uh, last week, about halfway through the game, toss it up again. No hat today, because uh, it's literally right there. I could lean over with less effort than it takes to get at my coffee and get it, but I don't want to wear a hat right now. I just woke up. I just want some coffee. Face is probably going to be pretty boring for a while while I'm waking up, but when I get to the, like, deep thinking stuff, that's when I start making stupid looking faces. Ah, oh, Curtis Thompson in the YouTube chat. Yay, greetings. Man, this game was a trip when I played it last week. Sorry for gushing about it on Twitter. Yeah, so I know at least one guy went and immediately got and played through this entire game after I played it last week. So that's awesome. Um, but, 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 um, I can't remember what we were doing. Right, we, I think, I think we needed to leave, right? Because we'd already talked to Fairlight a lot. We'd agreed for him to give us some help. Seems like he wants to help out. Talking. Please, don't let me delay you any further. Right, we gotta talk to his man, Decker, downstairs. Should I call downstairs to have you discharge? Yes, please. Let's get out of here. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, hello, Lexi. I am sorry. What did I do? I can't remember. I've been asleep for an entire week. I can't believe that you're still pulling the exact same shit you were years ago, but this time it's truly unreal. But if I was doing it before, what makes you think I would have changed? Do you even realize how bad impersonating a police officer is? It's a felony, jackass. Mm. I should be slapping cuffs on you and dragging your sorry ass off right now. Should be, which means you're not. Detective Rivers, <laughs> wait. I'm sorry. The plan to lift your credentials and use them to access Hayden's apartment was entirely mine. Aw, oh, thanks. Taking the fall for also, me. Necessary to mention that though you are understandably upset, such language and imagery is beneath you as a respected officer of the law. Oh, that's the wrong thing to say. You got a really smug face on you right now, Turing. She's gonna slap it off you. Oh, great. The robot did it, huh? <laughs> I guess I'll just take you to jail then instead. Is that what you want? Don't even try to take all the blame. I know that a certain someone lent you a helping hand. It isn't like you have the hardware to pull that off alone, little bot. Well, that's what you think. Well, to be honest... <laughs> Don't tell her! Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since my friend here trusts you... No, don't tell her! She's gonna get her arm twisted at some point. <laughs> Metaphorically, I am no ordinary ROM, but actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. I suspect creating me is the main factor behind Hayden's disappearance beyond his day-to-day -day research for Parallax. My name is Turing. Right, right. Making sense. Everything's starting to come back to me. Whew. Okay. Hi, Turing. <laughs> She's suddenly very put off by this. This is great. Well, that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on. Huh, old pal? There's so. the machine sapient. People are gonna have things to say about that. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually really curious to see where this goes. I think it's got five or six chapters. Curtis, can you let me know on the length? Especially the human revolution. Right. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Well, that's that's too bad. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. I, I didn't do shit. This little bot, she showed up in my apartment in the middle of the night and broke my laptop. I'm just sticking with her until she builds me a new one. Uh, and Junkyard Dave in the Twitch says, Hey, thir sir, thanks again for introducing this on your channel. I haven't played it yet, so I won't stay to watch, but after you streamed it, I bought it myself. Two people. Two people that I directly influenced to buy this game. Yes, feels good. Uh, no hard feelings, Junkyard Dave. You take off and have yourself a good day. What the hell am I supposed to do with the two of you? I guess I'm letting you off the hook. 
This time, and only because this time I can let you get away with it safely. Ah, okay. That's I doubt interesting. Will notice your manipulation of that NSFPD ROM, nor that I was apparently in two places at once. <clears throat> but mostly because I think you're right. Hmm. Why the blush? Someone higher up in the department is trying to delay any search into Hayden's disappearance. Mm-hmm. She got some intel now. Here's the story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. In investigation ran into... Inve I ran into investigations. Mm, right. The ROM that was there, that guy. The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. Right. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story. But when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. Wait, isn't that... Okay, I thought... Maybe this is just different in the tech world, but I thought 48 hours was standard procedure in the real world. Like, they just don't have the resources to take to call somebody a missing person before it's been two days. Why? Just on the off chance the door being busted and Hayden being missing are unrelated and my search screws something up for the completion of the break-in report. Break-in report, right. That's super more important than a guy that might be dead. Uh, Curtis says, about six or seven chapters. I was speeding through it quite a bit. It took me about 12 hours, so it might take you longer. That's cool. We'll, we'll be able to keep revisiting this uh, every week for a while. As if. There's a problem if you're so by the book you're getting paper cuts. And that was before all of this happened. The Chief's not happy about whoever took the bot out. That's who they're after now. They won't even care if Hayden never shows. That's, okay, That's that's starting to get weird now. Today's assault and the vandalization of our apartment will only make the entire situation more confusing and sensitive for the police. Yeah. Yeah, Will. There's too many moving parts to piece anything together, and it's not fun trying to argue with the bureaucrats that one thing happened over another. These little incidents of smashing shit and spray paint sound more like Froyo Stand 2.0 to them than a serious abduction. Even though they broke into a high-security scientist's office and took his very sensitive experimentational and lab equipment with, you know, super important data on it. And I suppose I won't be very useful as a witness to the kidnapping without explaining the makeup of my being to the entire department, which will only scandalize things further. Darn it all. <laughs> Darn it all. I cannot believe this. Look, it's not being squashed completely, so I don't think anyone's been bought. But until there's undeniable proof Hayden was taken by force, they're going to care more about the poor doorknob and some paint on the walls than him being missing. Which means somebody definitely has some influence, enough to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow protocol to a T. Mm, all right, all right. But I will, but I'm going to have to keep things quiet. It sounds like it's going to be up to us. Yeah, so stop messing around. No. There's certainly a story here, but if you keep botching your moves, you'll blow it. I'd really rather you not be involved at all, but I know that isn't going to happen at this point. One sec, just, uh, just lowering this a little bit. It's covering up a good portion of my face there. I've got a bad feeling people are going to end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them, buddy. Ooh, that is... That's a and big I thing. I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. Please. Okay, that, uh, that, that's actually got some weight to it. I can understand that. That's, uh, it's kind of a shitty situation. Still adjusting the mic. Did you try to pour milk over a crime scene since last time? Shawnee, I haven't gotten to a new area to try to pour milk on it yet. All I've done is show up, left the room, and then Lexi uh, jumped me. Uh, Curtis says, Missing persons upgrade is typically 48 hours, yes, but if an officer investigator has reasonable belief of abduction or subjugation, it can be upgraded in less time. The fact they're sticking strictly to that 48-hour rule is both puzzling but understandable. Lexi doesn't have credible proof that it was an abduction. Alright. 
Yeah, so the way that she explained it too is like it's it's not somebody it at least it doesn't appear to be somebody flat out saying, no, bench this case, we're not looking into it at all. It's just, th this is the way we do things, and uh, we're, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna break protocol on it. But not breaking protocol on it, like she said, yeah, usually means that uh, somebody wants to buy themselves time or something similarly shady. <laughs> Don't mother me. Uh, or I'll be careful, I promise. <sighs> didn't I say last time that I was gonna listen, and then I didn't? I should be, I should be a good guy. Especially since she just pulled the sister card. But! Don't, 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 don't be a bitch, Lexi. Fine, you got it. <laughs> Just here. Zapper, nice. Take this. Use it if you have to. All right, I can do that. Is this the same thing we got hit with? It's not. This is a medium range electrolaser pistol. And that is? It uses a low power laser to create a channel of ionized gas to complete a circuit between the gun and the target, then discharges a considerable amount of current into the air. So it's a gas taser. That's it, right? Think of it as a wireless taser of the older variety. Yeah, gas taser. Gotcha. This is a more suitable personal defense weapon, and it is legal to carry in the OSF without a license. All right. The neural scrambler we were attacked with uses a powerful electromagnetic field to disrupt electrical signals in the target's nervous system. Right, that was some heavy grade military equipment. I'm remembering it now. Far more dangerous and prone to be permanently damaging to the target. You got lucky. Thanks. I told you to get a weapon, but you didn't. So I picked it up on the way here. Be smart with it. I never had a chance. The game didn't let me. me either. I'll be in touch if I find anything out, but don't hold your breath. My superiors are gonna keep leaning on me to do nothing. I really like Lexi's voice. Like, she's she's got... I can't exactly explain why I like voices, because they, it, it's an audio thing, and I'm not much of an audiophile, I don't know the terms. But she's got one of those, like, commanding, deep lady voices. It's nice. Back to the grind, I guess. See ya. Stay safe. Thank you for your time, Detective Rivers. Alrighty. You should talk to the receptionist and formally check out before we go anywhere. We should also look for Dr. Fairlight's assistant, Mr. Decker. Right, that guy. We gotta look for Decker. Alright, now I get the chance to look around. Give me a half sec real quick here, because I need to post one last link that I forgot about. Oh, shit. Also, my thing still says testing stream. That can't stick around. There we go, much better. Okay, for reals now. We got items, we got milk. Spoiled milk is really starting to show its age. I cannot combine the milk and the gun, Shawnee. I am very sorry. It's the first thing I tried to do. Look at Zapper for self-defense only, Lexi's orders. All right, so use the gun on the vending machine. Damn. 
Use the milk on the vending machine. It's <laughs> hardly a fair trade. Uh, cute little cleaning rom, scrubbing the floors. Let's pour some milk out, keep it busy. Which would be the cuter rom to destroy this thing or Alfie I-83? What? Why is that what you thought of when I put out milk? You balance it on the rom's flathead, it seems aloof. The little rom seems to be following you now. The rom, no. <laughs> There's multiple lines. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was Alfie the water bot? Stunning is a cute little scrubber. Stunning the cute little scrubber on would just be too cruel. Are you trying to sabotage Hassie? <laughs> I can't tell if you actually like Hassie or want it to be destroyed. It's a vending machine. It doesn't have a name. If you want a Hassie, you'll have to pay using Lips Pay linked to your ID card. All right. Give me a drink. Hassie Infinity and drink it. You feel recovered. Very good. The best. Starting to think that you might have some uh, some Hassy sponsored code in your head there, Turing. <laughs> Milk. It's not fertilizer. It's not even close. It is sort of lumpy and brown and <laughs> disgusting. But come on. Do you want another dying plant on your conscience, dude? Doesn't bother me. <laughs> No time to rest anymore. We have a mission. Let's get to it. Full steam ahead. Would you like a zapper? Don't zap him. He's barely moving. Exactly. I gotta put some life in those things. Whoop. Hello. The name's Leon Decker. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to talk to... Oh, wait. I'm gonna have to talk to the receptionist anyways. Fairlight messaged ahead that I needed to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. Alright. That'll work. Thanks for taking your time with him. He really gets in one of his moods when the chairs are being fixed. The last gala he organized was full of unsavory types. He's probably happy to help folks whose pockets aren't deeper than their thoughts. Okay, so we're still getting conflicting info on this guy. He puts together celebrations and events for unsavory types but he's also happy to, to help not them. Why would he be putting together the stuff for those people in the first place then? Questions? Yeah, boss said you'd have a few for me. I'm not really supposed to answer anything too private, but <laughs> take your best shot. All right, happy noise. What kind of work do you do for Fairlight? Oh, uh, mostly gopher work, to be honest. Started when I was just out of the military. I was looking for a gig from someone who wouldn't care that I was an army rat. North Korea made that hard. Ugh. The old man pays me to guard his life, run a few errands for him, and play substitute arm candy at most of the charity galas. Substitute arm candy? Inclusivity, right. I, I've never heard of a guy being used as arm candy before, but there's no reason to think that wouldn't be the case here. Not terribly exciting, but I've already had enough excitement to last me another 30 years. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to know or be able to comment on anything military-style stuff. You think sitting in that chair all day is very entertaining? You know, the old man's talked to me about the things he used <clears throat> to do in his glory days. I'm sure he told you about when he was the head of some big company. Mm hmm That was the main thrust of his story. Ambitious, and took down anyone with half a mind to get in his way. That's, that's an evil guy. I think once he aged, he realized how lonely that kind of life can be. But that's a not evil guy. What is with this guy? Helping people is the only way he can feel like he's still doing something. But hey, what do I know? I just spend all my time with him. And you, what's up with you? Probably not as exciting as you hope. Morning, Pengu Lord in the Twitch chat. How's it going? I grew up in Montana on a family farm. I didn't have my pa's farm hands, so I joined the military as soon as I could, like my grandpaps. Came home looking to do something a whole lot quieter for the rest of my life. I didn't know at the time how boring quiet could be. <laughs> But hey, I'll take it over getting shot at. <laughs> Can't argue with that. 
Thank you. No problem. I'll be around if you know where to look. You have a good day now. He seems pleasant. Oh, and he just bailed. All right. Didn't have any chance to try milking him again. Yes, I know what I said. Turing might have a future in being a personal trainer. Now I gotta start clicking on things twice. <laughs> You're going to lose this zapper so fast. <laughs> it's not my fault. You're encouraging me with silly words, game. How can you be so cruel? One of these days, I'm actually gonna end up using the milk or this zapper now on something I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> But what does the Neo SF have to- Does San Francisco have, like, a heavy Chinese population? I don't know. Hospital information and city updates. Receptionist ROM. Patient Kubats. I forgot I named myself that. My records indicate you've been admitted for possible cranial trauma. You should currently be assigned to your bed resting. While I'm truly delighted to see you regain consciousness, I must insist you return to your room to be examined by a medical professional immediately. Listen here, you bucket of bolts. Uh, zap myself with my own stunner. It's all good. An accidental discharge of a weapon is a serious event. I must insist you remain for treatment. Even non-lethal stunners can leave much lasting neurological damage. <sighs> Shit. Just give me the damn paperwork, please. Very well. I'm prohibited by law from detaining you here against your will, patient Kubots. But you should note in your release paperwork that willful early termination of medical services releases this hospital and its parent company ZHC from legal liability should your condition persist or worsen outside of our care. <laughs> Additionally, all tests and medical data from your visit will be shared with our standard partners to help- Okay, here's the fine print. Expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated healthcare credits. Ooh. That's a system that- I'm not gonna downplay, that seems cool. But letting people know when you're out seems... scary. <laughs> what was that middle part? <laughs> Lastly, you'll be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately and do have a nice day. Your medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. Do I have problems? You for more pain journalism work before you get shot again. Oh, I'm just a risky boy. All right. Well, we're free to leave. Why not head back home first? Yeah. I'm sure you'd like the chance to shower at least. For such a clean place, it sure seems to have left you feeling foul. I, it's, uh, Lexi and Fairlight, both of those people have their hands in a lot of dirty stuff. Lexi, okay, Lexi doesn't have her hands in dirty stuff, but she spends a lot of time with dirty stuff because she's a cop. Oh, I wasn't done exploring, experimenting. Okay, um, physically, mentally, and journalistically refreshed. Check the chat. Curtis says, yeah, San Francisco is a large East Asia population. Korean, Vietnamese, Chinese, and Japanese. All right, cool, cool. Uh, Pengulord asks, what is this game? Never seen it. Shawnee is already on point with uh, answering that. And that's it. It's a much quieter stream this morning than it was last week. You look good. Oh, sorry. I should um, also get one more thing out here. Where did that particular one go? Oh my, wow, why is the computer lagging so hard? It just will not mouse over these links. Okay, cool. Back to the game. If you're feeling up for it, we should go find Tomcat and tell them about what happened. Ah, uh, yeah, good old Tom Fox. They 
they should still be waiting for us at Stardust. Let's not keep them waiting. Actually, fun fact. At the... Yeah, the eve... Last week on Saturday, I played this game, and somebody told me the name Tom Fox, and then I replaced all of the Tomcats with Tom Fox. That night, in a Proton John stream, where we were playing Death Road to Canada, fucking Tom Fox came in and sabotaged us midway. And, uh, not, not in the game, like, the guy hopped into the mod chat and, uh, talked with us for the last two hours, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> Weird oh, coincidence. By the way, while you were showering, I was able to replant your Crassula Ovata. It doesn't look any so better. Don't forget to talk to it and give it some love. When I try talking to it, it doesn't even notice I'm there. <laughs> it's a plant. It doesn't work. Also, why have you not fixed my goopy sink yet? Okay, alright. Take a quick look around the apartment first. Maybe milking the, uh, the sink will help. It bubbled. You can't imagine the indescribable inhumane horrors you're about to unleash on the world. Dude, or the stank. But you don't know, maybe that thing will launch a... Some kind of alien life form that'll help me figure this out by zapping my enemies. Lappy? There's nothing to listen to but the hum of the screen. Talk. Hi. Aw, hey, Turing. That's it. Well, then take some milk. Yuck! I don't have taste buds, and this makes me glad I don't. You don't know. Shh, shh, it's a delicacy around Get here. Get that away from me! <laughs> Turing, just stop resisting Get and take that the milk. Away from me! <laughs> that Lexi gave you. You're just common. You're, you're not even necessarily giving me information. You're just, you're just complaining about stuff. Shouldn't point the zapper at Turing. I'm undecided on how I feel about him. I think that's kind of the point. All right, let's uh, probably save. Yes, want to save. Saved often. Last week's crash has taught me this. Yes. Take the milk. I have space this time. I should increase, uh, I mean, include spaces. Take the milk. 